In August 2022, Marvel released She-Hulk. In the finale, we're treated to a brilliant scene based on the intro of the 1978 TV show, The Incredible Hulk. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. That show starred Lou Ferrigno as the giant green Hulk and Bill Bixby played his human form, David Banner. Wait, David Banner? Welcome to the Review Desk. I'm Desmond Kerk, and today I'll tell you why they changed the Hulk's name. The Hulk is one of the most popular comic book characters ever up there with the likes of Spider-Man and Superman. Partly responsible for this is the 1978 show based on the character developed by writer and producer Kenneth Johnson. Despite the subject matter, Johnson had often stated that he was not a fan of comic books and wanted to make certain changes for the show to differentiate it from the source material. One of the changes was that he didn't want the Hulk to speak, but simply growl. Hulk co-creator Stan Lee agreed saying that in the comics, Hulk would utter such phrases as Hulk crush puny man or the famous line Hulk smash. Lee admitted that while he could get away with this dialogue in comics, it was a wise move to have the TV Hulk refrain from speaking. But then, Johnson suggested two changes which Lee vehemently disagreed with. One of the changes was naming the character David instead of Bruce. Johnson himself has given conflicting accounts on the matter. He stated that the renaming was part of differentiating the show from the comics, since alliteration was commonplace in the books, used to give characters first and last names that started with the same letter, or at least the sound thereof. Examples are names like Peter Parker, Reed Richards, and Susan Storm. Lee used this tactic to easily remember names of his many characters but Johnson also stated that it was to honor his son, David. Both Stan Lee and star Lou Ferrigno disputed this, however, claiming that the studio changed the name because Wait for it. they thought Bruce sounded too gay. When I found out that they were changing the name from Bruce Banner to David Banner, I asked the logical question, why are you doing that? His name is supposed to be Bruce. Dave? Yeah, Dave. Dave's not here. And some genius at the network said, oh no, Stan, Bruce makes him sound homosexual. It, it sounds gay. I said, there's Bruce Jenner, the athletic decathlon champ. Well, I don't think I knew Bruce. No, no, I, we don't like the sound of Bruce. So you can't change his name. He's been David Banner. I mean, he, he's been Bruce Banner for all these years, but they were the network and they were in charge. Much like Stan, no one is exactly sure where this misconception came from. Some assume it's because Batman's alter ego is Bruce Wayne, and in the Silver Age, many claim there were allusions to Bruce and his ward Dick Grayson being homosexuals. This has been repeatedly debunked, by the way, but it could be that the studio drank the Kool-Aid at the time. This wasn't the first time the Hulk's civilian name was changed, though. Funnily enough, the first person to change it was Stan Lee. As I stated, Lee used alliteration to easily remember characters' names. So with the Hulk, he settled on Bruce Banner. But later, he misremembered the name as Bob Banner. And this was actually published in several comics, including Fantastic Four issue 12, where Hulk and Thing throw down for the first time ever. Check out my video about how a fight between these two giants might not go the way you think. Anyways, Marvel fixed this error by revealing Hulk's full name to be Robert Bruce Banner. Some people like going by their second name, so it made sense that he was often called Bruce. Nevertheless, Lee didn't make too much of a fuss about it, and the name change stuck. This wasn't the case, however, to the second change Johnson wanted to make. The producer wanted to change the Hulk's color to red. Johnson felt that green wasn't a human color, whereas red denoted anger, an emotion that pretty much defines the Hulk. Believe it or not, Hulk hasn't always been green. He was initially meant to be gray, 
but because printers at the time delivered inconsistent results, sometimes rendering the gray either too light or too dark, Marvel eventually settled on green. And if you ask me, it gives the Hulk a much more iconic look. Which is probably why Stan Lee drew the line right there and demanded that the Hulk remain green. In another coincidence, Marvel would debut their own Red Hulk in 2008. I wonder if Johnson ever came looking for royalty checks. Despite all the changes, the show introduced an entire generation to the Jade Giant, making him one of the most popular superheroes around. Now if only Universal would give the distribution rights back, we can get another solo Hulk movie. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.